number one Iron Age booty daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, have you seen the news? Because if you sit down and scroll through the news for a half hour like I did tonight to try to find something to cover for the channel, you would scroll and go, oh my god! Just end it all! Meteor! Global disaster or something! Just come and end it all! But I have a note of positivity. And this is what I want to say to everybody. The American spirit is in full swing. The complete and total reckoning for the people who have been trying to tear it down is upon us. And it makes me happy. I don't mean this in some sort of gotcha way or some sort of thing that's like, oh yeah, no, we're winning metaphor. No, we're not winning metaphorically. We're winning actually. What do I mean by that? The level of creativity out there in the movement called the Iron Age, where people are free to create and do what they want and say, screw waiting for a corporation to tell me what I can do. I am going to just do it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the American spirit. That is the spirit of freedom. And that is that thing where we chart our own course, create our own destinies. And man, it is alive and well. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of stories all over the news, everywhere, constantly. Here, the war is on, we're on the brink of war, Civil War, World War III. Things are, you know, happening all over the place. Crime and train derailments and all of this absolutely crazy stuff. And yet the one thing that we can absolutely overlook in our day-to-day -day lives is the fact that the American spirit ain't dead and it's not gone in any way. The American spirit is in full swing. I was inspired to do this by a comment that I got on a video that I did earlier this week. And when I read it and the person said that they were free to create, I thought to myself, yeah, yeah, we're still free to create. Whether it's in our own minds, whether it's words on a page, whether it's a picture, whether it's a movie. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not out here being hyperbolic when I say the American spirit is winning. When we're telling fantastic stories of heroes and villains again. Stories of friendship and love camaraderie, great battles, strength in the face of fear. All of this is on full display in what we're calling the Iron Age movement. And I think that's why this is so completely powerful and the one thing that is so easy to overlook. It's not we will win, it's we are winning. We're not relying on others to create for us. Charting our own course, making our own destinies, doing exactly what the American dream was. The ability to make ourselves and our dreams come true. For us to be better, for us to rise above, rise to the occasion. And in the face of all of the bad things, in the face of the, the globalists and the the bad policies and the politicians and all of this. You can't kill the American spirit. So with all of this bad news, all of this stuff, this stuff that just is designed to crush the soul, I found a moment of happiness reading a comment. So, and I want you guys to know, thank you for commenting. But I found that moment of happiness and that moment of inspiration. At least for right now, I'm still free to create on YouTube. I'm still free to share my voice. So are you. I've seen it. I see the comics and the books and the games. The movies that people are trying to create. And that is something to celebrate. So never forget, you might be able to knock the American spirit down, but you can't keep it down and out because it will 
always win in the end. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here tonight. And I want you to never forget, as long as the American spirit lives, we're free to create. And that is the definition of what we should be as Americans. So thank you again so much for watching. And if you guys like what I do here, subscribe and like this video, please. However, I want you to do one thing for me. Even if you don't subscribe or like the video, comment down below because I dedicate a special live stream every Sunday to those who comment on my channel so that way I can go and read your comments. Maybe you like what I have to say, maybe you don't, but it doesn't matter. If you dedicate time to me, I dedicate it right back to you. So don't miss that live stream at 11 a.m. every single Sunday. It's called Sunday Coffee. And ladies and gentlemen, until next time, keep creating, stay free, and cheers, everybody. It's iced tea, not whiskey. Calm down. As I said earlier, thank you so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you over to my Gilded and my Locals page. Over there, I am building fantastic communities where creators and fans alike are coming together. And the coolest part about these pages, they're not about me. They're about the people coming together in a community that's sharing fantastic stories and building a fantastic new parallel economy. See you there.